Sword is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the giants and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Continuation of the previous tape, the doctrine of the Nicola Times, which has been so popular among the midst of today's Christendom. We can learn its origin from Ezekiel chapter 11, verse 12 where our Lord mandated them to walk in the status and judgments of Him. But the people love to follow the customs of this earth. Today as well in our pulpits today, where we are preaching the word of the Lord and teaching the word of the Lord, which has to be the primary rule, many men have compromised with the traditions of this world, rudiments of this earth, rather than looking upon number one priority for doctrine alone. This great doctrine which has to be number one is not been made known today in our churches. This great reality of Bible doctrine has been nullified in our pulpits. And therefore, this man, they are following that which is not right, which is not true, which is not correct. Therefore, though, Ezekiel weeps and prays, Lord, are you going to cut off the entire remnant of Israel? Then to our Lord did not answer him. Because he cut down that man who was practicing idol worship. Today in our church, idol worship doesn't represent that you keep an idol and you do it. The idols are those things which have been there in your heart, which grow up day by day. Practicing of your arrogance in ignorance. This is a great idol that is happening today in our church. Including the pastor teachers who do not have this bona fide real gift, who do not understand what is the command given to them in Second Timothy 2.15, which says to them, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. They are considering that which has to be dealt with the word of the Lord to be just in a light way. The word of the Lord tells you, you have to be faithfully being prepared. We are not into any other useless and worthless business in the pulpits, in the churches. We are dealing with God's word. We are dealing with the mind of Christ, which is so precious for us. So precious than any other thing that could be counted on this earth. Then our own life, what we are breathing, so precious is the word of the Lord, then this breath what we take. Because tomorrow it will stand for futurity and for futurity, for eon and for eon, forever and forever. Every word that we preach, our Lord has not given just the authority for us to say, whatever you bind on the earth will be bounded in the heaven, when two or three are gathered in my name. And he has given us a great warning several times to handle his word accurately. Through the various false teachers in the Old Testament time, today as well in the pulpits, we find false teachers. It is of a great pain for us to note these things. But many men are not able to understand the simple truth. The simple truth of Bible doctrine. They are not able to come. They are not able to listen. They are not able to look. And they have become vain in their imagination. And they are considering to replace the word of the Lord with the rudiments of their thinking. Which is not right at all. Even we can find in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 13, verses 27, they will not change, even though so much of damage was done by their prostitution, by their not hearing, by doing their wicked deeds. It has a great lesson of connotation we can learn even from Jeremiah 13 as well. Because it stands written very boldly that they have been into their adulteries, into their names, into their mischief, into their prostitutions on each and every mountain of the hills of the field. And God says, I saw their abominations, which is of a great, great into their lack one. And then too they have not been cleansed, because that is the hardness of those people. 
even today as well in the churches, men are not able to come back and look and understand Bible doctrine. Men are neither interested to come back and understand the word of the Lord and throw away the Nicolaitans doctrine, but rather they are really enjoying in the Nicolaitans doctrine today. One step in the world and one step in the church. The pastor teachers who are standing as well, they are the most culprits, having double tongue. And these are the men who really trample my Lord's word under their feet. When their conduct and their character is not true with the fellow men to be honest, because honesty is a very expensive gift. We cannot expect it from cheap people. And these cheap people are becoming pastors today in the pulpits. They don't stand honestly to the fellow men. How come they could be honest to the word of the Lord? They can never. When they are deceiving the fellow men, the John, first epistle of John tells to us, the one who hates his brother is not in love, is not in love of God the Father, neither seen him. But these men are hating their fellow brethren, and that's why they are not honest to them. How come they can say they are preaching the word of the Lord? They can never. Dear brethren, you need to know what is the truth. The truth is always in the realm of Bible doctrine. Think over this. Not in the doctrine of Nicolaitans, but in the doctrine of the mind of Christ, the word of the Lord. We are here not to follow the customs and the rudiments of this world, but rather we are here to execute the judgments and the status of Christ our Lord. So think over these issues, we shall continue in the next step. Father, grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship with you through the word. We pray that Lord God, the whole spirit, lend us on these things and make us a blessing and challenge our in Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.